Hey, the shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing and nothing broken. God bless you. Peace, mercy, more peace, more grace, more mercy. That's what I ask the Lord for as I repent for my sin and the sin of the people, sin of the world. Hmm. And Nehemiah 18, so stand in faith, everybody, and put on your full armor of righteousness. Um, repent for your sins. Say the Lord's Prayer. Um, Serenity Prayer. Stick to the Proverbs. Listen to the songs. Do your lamentation. Learn how to do that. Learn the old, learn the ways. Otherwise, Deuteronomy 28, 29. Um, cursing the plagues on the land, on those who have um, continues to rebel against God, forsake God, and not repent for their ways. Said you, know, you and your forefathers, um, except for three to four generations down, are going to suffer the repercussions of you not repenting and turning back to the Lord. And that's what's happening. And you know, um, people need to embrace repenting. Hmm. Embrace it. It's a good thing. Hmm. Trust me. And you trust in the Lord you that God with all your heart and soul. And you will be established. Everything will be just fine. Hmm. You just gotta believe it. Say, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Because the Lord thy God is with me. His rod and staff they come from it. Who shall believe the report? Isaiah, the sword has been pulled from a sheath, and the sword has been polished. And the sword shall not return. It shall not return. It's out to slay. <laughs> the sword of truth is out to slay. With the full armor. <laughs> and the truth. <laughs> and God loves Jerusalem as I am. <laughs> All Jerusalem as I had to do was re realize what they were doing wrong. All right, y'all. Get it together, everybody. I love you. God bless you. May everybody do better, feel better, see better, think better, love better, learn better, um, be better. Um, sometimes thinking better, remove, you have to remove the way you think most of the time. Remove the way you think. Replace your thoughts. Your thoughts are not his thoughts. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His thoughts are greater than our thoughts. The Lord's dogs. That's why he said, Take your, let the Holy Spirit. When I told the Holy Spirit, it takes unto uh, captain, uh, taking the captivity, the subjection, every, you know, all my thoughts, taking to subjection under the captivity of the mind of Christ, all my thoughts. And it was like April the 5th, I think it was my birthday, the April 8th. And I needed that at that day. That's when they grew the gas station. Had run my uh, gas up. She didn't ring it up right, and then she didn't give me the gas or my money back. I was like, um, I don't know what you did wrong, but I didn't do it because I don't work there. So, anyway, she got the police on me. I said, I said, I'm waiting for the police. She's like, hello. Hmm, <laughs> shalom. <laughs>